The following feature is rated SM for spiritual maturity and is not intended for the immature who wishes to remain as such. The views expressed are not necessarily those of our sponsors as they sometimes could care less about what the host is saying but is more concerned about having their product on a popular show. Warning, small minds, listen at your own risk as this content is extremely overwhelming and may do further damage to those minds closed off to objective reality. Approach with an open mind as the heavy nature of the content will lick your chip. Your chip. In the meantime, 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 in between time, time, in the meantime, in the meantime, in between time, boom, 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 time. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. All right, yes. Curly Locks Device Box. Yes, me there represent again for in the meantime. Yes. Episode 27 entitled Weapons of Mass Destruction Part 2. We are tell you. Mass destruction indeed, my brother. Yeah, man. Yes, man. Yeah, man. Another week. Yes, brethren, but we never get weak. We are tell you, Rasta. Yes, yes, yes. All right. I'm going to have a section I know in him. The question of the day. When we're going to ask a question. And those who are join me. Yes. I join me upon the premiere, you know. Yes, upon the live. <laughs> yes, they can put in them input. Upon the question of the day. And then later on, down in the program, in the new section, now I give the item. My outlook or my input upon this question of the day, you know. So, the question of the day is. What is the difference between a gun song and a gun show? And out of music or movies, which one the item think is more influential in the outcome of crime? Yeah, man, we're going to talk about that. Later, and even if the ones them don't catch the live premiere, the item can still join the conversation in the comment section down below. Well, I think you know my answer for that question already. Mm, the question of the day. Well, well, all right, we'll learn from that like, till we discuss it later on. Yeah, man. As usual, this section of the program is brought to you by Vicebox Studios, the voice of a nation, and Madvert Multimedia. If it's not Madvert, it's not an advert. Also brought to you by Bunks About Kids Party Rentals. Yes, man, now the rentals for every occasion, man. Yes, fears, fun days, and them kind of thing there. Yes, we are tell you. Especially if you want to customize an experience for your child where they will never forget. Don't bunks go all about. Bunks about. Yeah, man. The number to call is 876 404 1714. Or you can just Instagram them. It's at bunks about. That is B U N X about. Yeah, man. And this section here. Yeah. Also brought to you by. My original Kingston 13 clothing line, yeah man, from then till now. To support this merchandise, my merchandise, yes. The link is in the description below, yes. And there's a question I know when I ask for a minute, you know, in a rasta. I'm going to ask it this week again. Are you a man, woman, child or dog in Canada? We don't want chicken back, ton can meal or beg your thing, nothing na go on. Drop back in our thing. Bob Marley did do a song where he said, Don't worry about a thing, because every little thing is going to be all right. I'll be telling you to say, A Renaissance immigration did make people of Canada know with a song they truly mean. What you mean by that? What you mean? Uh, what? what you mean? You know how much people there in Canada run up and down all boat with all type of immigration crosses that follow them. And a Renaissance immigration service make them know, say, Everything I got all right, no matter what it look like. Really? Yeah, man! Missy man get in a high speed chase, shoot out, junk and drive almost every kind of trouble and still in a Canada. That's people all I say, well, I'm going tell you, cartel need for borrow fee, Wobia man. I'm going tell you, say, I don't know, Wobia man, I don't look. A Renaissance immigration. Just call 437 703 1147 to 8. Yes, and again, me I go say for those who depend on the American side and would have like a service similar to Renaissance Immigration, not to worry. Because uh, this section of the program is also brought to you by Lewis Law Professional Association. No matter the wickedest thing in America from visa-related issues. 
everything related to citizenship and them type of thing there. Yes, man, me I tell you, them deal with waivers and I think when them removal of condition. So the eye them now for suffer unnecessarily in a some relationship. Yes, man, the eye them now for make nobody hold no green card over no head. I fuck some ugly people who wanna eat like poison. Take up the phone now and call. 954-530-1717 Or simply just email Nadia at Louis La, that liar In the meantime Alright, yes, in the meantime, what's going on now? Alright, I'm going to jump right into the letter of the day Yes, man, yeah, man, we have an unusually long letter coming to In the meantime, radio show at gmail.com at this time, and it is coming from. All right, let me see. I know, yeah, man. This unusually loaded letter here is coming from Jeremy and Benton. He said, Bless up Curly Locks, the Vice Box, and everyone in Purple Nation. I have a few questions, and I hope it's not too much for you to deal with in the program. I also have an issue I need your advice on. I'll start with the questions unrelated to my primary issue first. The first question is. How do you come up with your analysis and situations? Your deep insight and things is out of this world. My friend bought your book, Planet Earth, The Idea and the Process, and said it is indeed the greatest book ever written about our lives. I plan on buying the book, but haven't gotten around to it yet. My friend showed me a passage in chapter 1, which leads me to the next question. I have, which is, what do you really mean when you say in chapter 1 that our belief system turns our natural impulses against us? Could you give one of your famous analogies or examples to help me understand the point? The next question is, I saw you on on stage three years ago saying you were a coward for not having the courage to offend. What made you see yourself as a coward? Is there a backstory? Because I feel like I can relate to you. But I want to know if your reason is similar to mine. The primary issue I want advice in is this. I am in a relationship for over 16 years and married for 10. Before marriage, everything was great and me and my wife were a team. In the early years, she used to work as a waitress. And I knew my wife's potential. She wanted to become an architectural engineer. And every single day I would encourage her not to waste her purpose. As you always say, that not having a purpose is one of the major causes of unhappiness and dissatisfaction with life that people can experience. So I encourage her to go back to school to get a degree in architectural engineering. However, like many, many people out there, my wife was afraid to take on the challenges required of her based on her constant worry about people's opinion of her and what would happen if she failed at it. My wife, like many people, was very bright but hated to read, hated anything that required serious focus. Needless to say, the sacrifice on my part was tremendous because I had to sideline my career in large part to focus on hers and see her through because at that time I felt she would have done the same for me. Now fast forward to my wife graduating and landing a job at a big firm in Pennsylvania after securing huge contracts and start making large sums of money and start hanging out with a certain circle my wife changed. She was a totally different person. She was impatient and intolerant of anything at all related to me. She was totally unsupportive of my goals and aspirations. Everything I did now bothered her. It seemed like torture whenever I required her attention and anything. She gets this look of annoyance on her face and even walks away in the middle of my sentences and never gets back to me and what I was trying to say. She shouts about everything and denies it. She's always on her phone and does not seem to know what a phone is until I am on mine. I have lost all motivation. 
I feel nothing I do matters. I feel aimless. This is a woman who I stood up to my family for. I put everything on the line for her and this is the result. I am all alone because I have alienated my family and I feel like a man without a home. I am unwelcome everywhere. Nobody wants me. The sad thing is, I too had architectural aspirations, but at my age, in my late forties now, I see no sense in going back to school for five or six years. I am going to be too old by the time I am true. I feel so lost, without hope or direction. Please help, I am fading fast. Jeremyne. All right, Jeremyne, me I tell you, boy, it, it, it's sad, me I tell you, but this letter here, me I tell you, I want Purple Nation to notice it. This letter here is just the same story, just a play out over and over and over. And then why you say that? Because the beliefs where we are using our approach to a problem is in itself the problem. So we are trying to use problem, solve problem. Really? So problem. Really? Yeah, man, me I tell you. And Jeremy, we just a while ago, you are saying now, let me get this straight. You are saying, you feel say, you're too old now to go back to school, go achieve certain things because you feel like five or six years is too long to wait. <laughs> for go, for go back to school But Jeremy and I realize something Five or six years after coming you know, It's not like say If you don't go back to school You're not going to bother 50 odd Exactly, it must come to pass Yeah man, the years have to pass Whether or not You understand, the years have to pass If, if, if nothing or nobody no kill you So get your degree and you like you're going to stay young If you don't go and this obsession where most people have with this old and young and happiness is all about when you did, when you did, in the past. Hey, me tell you no all, all the while, you know, Purple Nation. Me tell you no all the while. Say, we're alive, you know, but them program we against living. Me what, 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 you, what oh, you mean? You mean what me mean, brethren? Oh. You know, you me talk all the while. What's that? We program for the fulfillment or contentment as something you know, up me yet. It always in the future. We never in the present. So we cannot appreciate where we are until it pass. We are look back and I say, me shoulda. You saying that again? Yeah, man. I, I, I we think that's why you me talk all the while. Say we spend the sixties, I worry about the fifties. Spend the fifties, I worry about the forties. Spend the forties, I worry about the thirties. Spend the thirties, I worry about the twenties. Stuck in a fruitless cycle. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, me I tell you. Yeah, but me I tell you say every every age and stage in our life important. You know your 50s, use your 50s that it you have, but it deal with this now because you can't change it. Nobody worry about a man the 30 and a man the 40 and a man the 20. Makes no sense, you say. Yeah, man, make a man with 75, tell you. Say you're young, no blood clot at 60. Don't 75 before you realize say, you're young in your 50s. Don't miss the blessings we come at that age and stage because you're that obsessed about being 20 again. You're absolutely right, my brother. You, you, yes, you're absolutely right because as you're talking, while you were talking, I was thinking about um, a few occasions that I encountered in my life uh, where my wife... I, when, when, when I tried to act a certain way, my wife would immediately shut me down and always remind me of my age and... Uh, you're 60 now and uh, you need to give up on that particular dream and it always knocked the wind out of my sail, my brother. And, and, and I do think you're right. We do put a time limit on our potential and, and, and that is wrong. I, I just realized that, my brother. Because many times I just knew I had a little gas left in the tank and I could go a little further. And, and, and she just cut me down, my brother. I tell you, all right, watch her. Get Planet Earth. I tell you once, get Planet Earth, the idea and the process. Right now, www.planetearthbook.com or Amazon. And you see what I deal with. You see how labels manipulate with reality. How labels and images yeah, tell a particular short story where oversimplify reality. And we unrealistically expect things will go exactly where this label here tell we say uh, yeah as we, yeah this the way the label say as we go you understand me as a rasta we associate now age to self-worth and capability so we have this thing now where we say all right 40 this 
50, yeah man. Every that. age and stage has a story. Yeah man, say. whatever story is associated to a particular age. We believe it when we get to that age there. We believe it and give up and start grudge young people. The average person don't have the spiritual intellect to understand objective reality. We are living in an illusion where we shame people for age. For something them can't fucking help Rasta. How we make them rules here? Yeah? Can you remember say no we don't Rasta? We live in our world where let's say somebody get a little older and have a biological dysfunction with the, with the mood. <laughs> and I'm not even older sometimes, you know. Sometimes it reach people from in them twenties. So it's not even an age related thing to, to such an extent now. People are gonna shame woman then. I go shame the man. When a man would surf and or he would have dead dead. Shall laugh after him. For something where him can't help Rasta. Shall go make it look like say no, him call him mother. And say, boy, I would you are going to good throughout the course of my life, you know. Me just want you to start. Shame me, man. Shame me. Come no like where you are going. People should have the spiritual intellect. If your man call all him wife and say, honey, where are you going? Yeah, I mean. Yeah, man. Me pick up some Viagra for the deadwood. Yeah, man, at the pharmacy. You want nothing for your big hole. Good God, my brother, you don't have to be oh, that me, I mean, I Bridging, let me tell you something, man. We're not intelligent if we're not spiritually intelligent. So, all right, I don't want to get sidetracked, you know. Back to Jeremy, you know. Jeremy say, I'm have, have some question. And the first one was one, you know. Right, let me see what. You don't ask me, say, what I mean in a chapter one, when I say, our belief system turns our natural impulses against us. And Jeremy, you want the answers then in the form of an analogy. All right, cool. All right. Jeremy, look on it like this. When we say we believe, the things we believe turn with natural impulses and emotions against we. And why you look on it like a human body, like the human body, when you, when you eat certain wrong things that was not meant to be consumed by the human body. We develop autoimmune diseases. We turn the body against itself. We'll assume so now. When we have these over simple, one dimensional, in other words, these kind of black and white, up or down, good or evil kind of beliefs, we develop psychological problems. We turn the mind against itself. And cars we for use with natural impulses and emotions like love, loyalty, trust. Out of sync and alignment with them true purpose. And the next part of your question now, a part of the question was that you want to know where me get this kind of deep spiritual insight when assessing situations and bringing them forth and, and expressing them. Well, let me tell you something, Jeremy. The greatest book me ever read and learn from is My Life Itself. Me I tell really? You that. Really though? No? Yeah, man, me pay close attention to the details. You understand? Me, I think that same exact. A lot of one on a year, but in the meantime, I stir it up on them thing there. I from you like twelve year old. Me, I tell you, thirteen year old. Me, I think them way. Yeah. The only problem was in my equation or my surroundings at the time. Most people that live lies, them I live a lie. Them don't like reality. So this kind of thought process was unwelcome. So me edit myself in order to be liked by these people so me end up a live a double life because me know the fucking truth and I try to live the lie there just for be accepted really though yeah man me I tell people where them want here just for them like me and that are the worst thing you can do to people where you, where you claim so you love but but one would say though my brother that you are well reputed for being straightforward and um Offending people when, when needs be, and that's what you built an entire career on. What say you about that, my brother? Because it's it, it very easy to offend people you don't have that connection with. Those closest to you at this or no, you require courage. Because guess what now? You have connection with these people. It's not that simple. At 2007, when Zion dead, me learn, oh, me learn what is love or over love. Me learn, say, the feelings of the spiritually immature don't matter. Because those feelings are not based in an objective view or understanding of reality and therefore they are illusions. So you are really matter. Only the, the objective truth where they're offended by. And why is that? You because, say. brethren, again, uh -huh. like me say a million times, uh -huh. to every child, brethren, adult child or literal child, them parents are terrorists, them parents no good, them parents evil, them are pussy, them no better than them parents. Really? Is that so? Yeah, man. 
Everybody will represent the authority of objective truth. No good, none at all. Them see them as evil. Wicked. Because at this, so them look a three year old mind day. Me, I tell you that. And that's why you see someone will come turn all the parents. Half a parent. Ask any picnic will turn out great. A offense raise them. At every stage of them life, them swear to God, say them parents are fool. We, 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 we know more than them. And if I'm not even them parents raise them, there was always somebody there. They were never afraid to offend them with an objective truth eh? at every turn. And I guess all I want me just say answer this question about on stage and how me find how, how me see myself as coward. Yeah man, I guess me just answer that. So watch I know. We're German, we're, we're German, I say I know. Why if you put green lizard to shame when it comes to change? Yeah man, green lizard out of a job, green lizard homeless. Them see green lizard downtown with a sign mark will work for insects. <laughs> Boy, it rough, it rough. Boy, I can't say it enough, Rasta, I tell you. The rules we govern, the laws, and, and uh, yeah, we create the beliefs what we have as people around in this Western system, I'm a bridging. Boy, I tell you the truth. It makes everything that we want. In terms of fulfillment, everything we want in our life, love, loyalty, trust, good people, all of them things, it make them unattainable. And why is that your thing? Because this Western world here is Neverland, a place where nobody no one grew up. And almost every rule where we follow in this Neverland here support that idea of everything being an idea separated from the process or processes. We truly define the things where they must strive for in our life. And my advice to anyone with this kind of mindset here, Bridgin, man. Anything we wanna go for, carry a condom, can we get fucked. In the meantime. Alright, Jeremy, let me see, me see, me see one word at the root of, of your thing when we say I go on here. So, and the word is acquisition. The word of the day, as a matter of fact, is acquisition. It means the act of acquiring or gaining possession. You hear the word there? Position. In the mind of the immature, everything is a possession, including husbands, wives, children. It is a prop, a part of a show where they put on. And that are the only purpose where you serve. Them no budget for nothing outside that where them see you as. And the place upon the stage in you know, for them life where them put you. They mimic relationship, them don't practice it. Them don't live it. And as me say all the while, me I tell you a one-dimensional belief system turn with imagination in our worst enemy. Because enough of we out there never watch this show and think it real. And go married or get in a long-term relationship with these kind of immature people. And end up with a life with turn backstage. What you mean by backstage? What you mean? What I, I mean by backstage? Pastor, let me tell you something, Bridget. I don't Because get... it simply means the acting mm. done. You understand that the narcissist are going to come out at that point now. The, the real person who will use everybody as a props, including you. So you're not a home with that person there. Backstage, you live with official. And then no business if you live or dead or if you either hurt you. Unless the crowd, which is the neighbors and friends, call them on back on the stage for your encore. At them time, they're them business if you take too offensive. If you go play the part of a good husband or wife. The immature just deal with idea, man. Me can't say that enough. Them not deal with process, Bridget. Them fall in love with the 19-year-old you and that not supposed to change. Them no budget for nothing we are going to change. Rasta is a budget for a bigger belly, a greyer face, a longer breast. Them not treat human being different from the car in them garage. As long as little change come, little challenge, little problem, you get trade in, man, right away. That's how it goes? <laughs> yeah, okay. man. What you mean if I saw it go? I saw it go. May I tell you, the spiritually immature is the most delusional creature upon two foot. Believe that, because them, them fight for props where them don't earn. And this upon every level of relationship, work and otherwise. You hear them talk about, oh, my daddy, and oh, my daddy for you. No, you're in the fucking room. But your mind will make the connection for what needs to be done and not said. They're everywhere else. But why are they like that though, my brother? Because them immature people are only know for select everyone and everything. Them don't choose nothing or nobody at all. Is there a difference though, my brother, between a choice and a selection? Oh, you mean? A, 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 there's a big difference and a because people don't know this difference why we get into so much trouble. You understand? A choice and a selection are two different things. Me outline this in a Planet Earth, the idea and the process. Get it now. www.planetearthbook.com or on Amazon. Yeah, man, I'm one of the idea remember, say. Yeah, man, Planet Earth is now available locally. Yes, man. At J.A. Deals, Park Plaza, across 
from half a tree. Transport Center, 6D, Kansan Spring Road. Yeah, man. The number to call if you're not sure is what? 876-288-7705. Yeah, man. JA Deals have also a location in a St. Elizabeth. Yes, Black River St. Elizabeth. So call the same number or call 616-9370. Yeah, man. Same JA Deals. For more information. And it is also available. Planet Earth is available at Cellular Repairs Upstairs Island Grill in a Twin Gates Plaza. And it's also available at Tash Chemical Shop, Top Road, Little London, West Milan, at the front of Ebenezer Lane. The number for call for directions is what? 876-354-743. Yeah, man. A whole lot more location coming soon, including Sangsters and, and them things there. Yeah. So, yes. Speaking of Planet Hurt, yes. The audio book is finally available. Yes, my apologies for the lengthy delay. Yes, man, yeah, man. We uploaded from the 19th. Yeah, man. Supposed to release the 20th. It was uploaded from the 19th. But the platform kept them, them write me and tell me say there was something. Yeah, we did need to adjust on the audio. Yes, we make those adjustments and re-upload now. So it's just a waiting game. Hopefully by the time this this episode of in the meantime ears yeah man it, it up and running give thanks to all of those people who prayed from last year yes man my yeah man yeah man gratitude yeah man <laughs> respect all right i don't have much time left but jeremian let me tell you something bridging the woman the way you have them have a, hey let me tell you something man them have that type of that type of mindset they were them no come them no come for playing a girlfriend or in a wife role like your mother are you mad at them come for me? You understand? Them do have the maturity they focus in a no area where you excel or do nothing at all with good. Let me tell you that. I just, yo, you left that this one, take up this and move that from this one, that over there, so and all kind of motherly commands. And them now go stop till them micromanage and edit your true self out of your life and turn you in a pathetic, ugly, big belly shadow of your former self. Kill your spirit and I ask where it gone. And that's why you hear me tell the youth them, you know. Me tell them all the while. Create somebody or re-establish somebody where the world can respect, including yourself, and safeguard that person. Don't compromise that version of yourself and nobody at all. Nobody not worth it. Because a whole heap of youth used to full of style and charisma. I mean, I tell you, a whole heap of swag and all kind of things, man. And the woman turn them in a zombie and I come tell them about Dexter Dapp. Say, bumbo clot, girl. No, we're not doing no. So you're saying in essence then, my brother, yeah. that if you are a strong man, your advice to me is that yeah. if you're a strong man, you should not allow yourself, you should not allow these ladies, um, no, brother, man. to cut and paste you. Exactly. As they have a like, they, they, you shouldn't allow yourself to be changed. Is, is that what you're saying, my brother? I don't me I say, Bridgin, because I'm going to tell you something, man. You see, if you forgot who you is, them immature girls have forgot where the toilet is in the house. And shit by you. In the meantime. All right, some serious argument. My uncle Sari said, time run out on the topic, but... Purple Nation, don't worry, man. I tell you, yeah, man, I'm going to continue this thing and go and delve deep. Yeah, man, I'm going to go further into this topic here yeah, and tell the eye them, you know, me bring some different angle as to why the social order cause the man and the woman to be distracted from the mission where they're supposed to work on together. And a very important item we want to bring to the eye them attention is that Kemar Seavright, yeah man, that are one of the national, with young national footballers, yeah man, him have a son that have a serious health condition, stage four cancer, you understand, and is in need of help you understand and right now the link yeah man for your go found me is in the description below my description you understand and this is something I'm research this is this is definitely authentic so whatever the item can do yeah man please reach out and do what you can do because we have to learn to see other people children as our children you understand because when we see any youth we see a zion we see you know a isaiah we see you know me i tell you that boy me i tell you rasta I don't know, me I see a little trend, a little absurd, you know, something from a day, Rasta. I don't know if it's a celebrity, I do a challenge or what. I don't know if it's a thief challenge or go on, but all kind of video with them, a whole thief, and I deal with them wicked. All boat in a Jamaica, just a, just a surface. All boat bridging, but. Let me tell you something right now. I now say, no beat out them Ras, you know. Yeah, man, by all means, man, fuck them up. But let me tell you something. With a sad reality. Most of who 
is in these mobs, yeah, man. These large crowds, yeah, man. We are inflict justice. And, and yeah, man, and I beat this thief of the moment. A thief themselves. You can't say that. Hold oh, on, no man, I pastor, agree. man. Let me tell you. You can't tell say you. that. Most of who did this, so I beat the thief. Is a thief, too. In a one way or the other. Maybe he's not a grab bag thief or a yo girl give me the cell phone, the kind of thief. 95% of people are thief in other areas. You see, just like oh, you see that man there go grab that bag and I do a bag of thing. And the man something we are not him and don't want to work for it. I see him so many people in a every angry mob. In a some kind of work, in a some kind of relationship. We don't want to put in the work and the effort and, 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 and face the challenges and earn. The credit where them are demand. Really now? Yeah, man, them are take credit where them not earn. But let me tell you no something. You know, a thief too, you know. That brother where you are beat might grab a bag. But you are grab credit where you not deserve. Same fucking thief. Two different levels. Because I'm going to say again and again in a Rasta. The same approach to anything for any level are the same result. You know, every level. Where that approach is applied to. In other words, how you do anything is how you do everything. You can't fix it in a one area and not fix it straight across the board. What I say most of the item I do is just agree with BA information, man. Real talk! I can't say that enough. Many of the items just a mimic morality and not practice it. You might change a particular thing in a particular area of your life and don't change it across the board. And that's why nothing is fucking changing on your life. And it now nah go change till you know serious, cause you don't have to know say. Children mimic adults practice. So my overall advice to all of the thief them in every way, shape or form. Stop thief. Learn for all it out and face the challenges. Yeah man. This song here is coming from Jazai Lee named Wall It Out. Here goes. You see I'm blind. No time when you see things and you can't afford it Because you know in time I hear no focus on the things you surround with To all life design you know kind your head boss lose your life you go down if you don't walk the line stand firm all your ground you're no fool although you're poor you know yeah you're all it all it out when you can't afford Yeah, if you know, say this is Leela I can't write and now you're listening to In the Meantime with Curly Locks the Voice Box. Check it. Check it. I spy, I spy that you see something you might like. In the meantime. You see I'm blind. No time when you see things and you can't afford it Because you know in time I hear no focus on the things you surround with To all life design you know kind your head boss lose your life you go down if you don't walk the line stand firm all your ground you're no fool although you're poor you know yeah you're all it all it out when you can't afford the load all it all it out got to all your ground it shows said you know for your own your own why you think we you can't draw your own we out, we out, we out Journeying before you Both side you mean for breeze cock your crumb And pick up gun thing heavy like trip and a stone eh, eh. Them the meds you would have leave it at home Cause you no want the system bite you You no meat for no bone oh, You need essential so please grab a home You want the car the bike plus all the wheel that are come But before you jump man you drink grandma's zone. Brother I'd rather beat the system till he weep on a moon oh, Time to order things no cheap in a man But money have to make soji no teeth if he no done, no one fi squeeze him trigger or that squeeze couple grand or him sit down a count him money till he sees up him man. It's like him no. Yeah, tell him to pass. In the meantime, up top, I'm represent for curly locks, device box. You understand? Stay in the alien, yeah. You see I'm blind. No time when you see things and you can't afford it Because you know in time I hear no focus on the things you surround with To all life design 
You know kind your head boss lose your life You go down if you don't walk the line mm-hmm. Stand firm while you're grown You're no fool although you're poor You know yeah You hold it, hold it out When you can't afford the load Hold it, hold it out Can't do all your grow He shows sure it You know for your own, your own Why you think we You can't draw we own We out, we out, we out Journeying before you Both sides you mean for breeze Cock your crumb And pick up gun thing Every like three pan a stun eh, eh. Them the meds you would have Leave it at home Cause you no want the system Bite you, you no meat Pan no bone oh, You need essential So please grab a home You want the car, the bike Plus all the wheel that a crumb But before you jump Man you drink grandma's own Bread I rather beat the system Till it weep on a moon oh, Time to add and things No cheap in no a man But money have to make So you no teeth in no a done No one have to squeeze him Chigara that squeeze couple grand a rim sit down a count him money till he sees up him man it's like him no free driver rap no key fee no van a couple acre in a paper a well lease a go van so meter when no rate you wouldn't lease so me no true my heart willing now giving ye do me pork you know yeah me all it all it out when me can't afford the load all it all it out got to all we grow he sure say me no for your own, me own Why you think no proud you can't draw we out Out we out, we out Them could never draw we out We are no lace strap, no shoes with the tongue No time and no the waste, we know go food have for run Dream and I go chase only a fool I sit down And still for crime, me nah no space, me never tool like my gun Night man I go beach and in a day watch his son Cause them say prison of his teeth and them say jail of his home Time for man achieve, that means a fail of his done And at the sky man wanna read some rather stay on the ground But now do nothing for your fret More you kick it back and listen to me concept Free the things, say poverty is just a mindset So me I go get my boss, I must not feel me time yet Serenity, just a love up in my chest So me no say me no evil, wicked, this me sidestep And anyway, me acting up and then me can catch So that shirt and up, no button the way you can press Although me, oh, 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 all it, all it out when me can't afford the load All it, all it out, oh, oh Yes, Jazai Lee, the one and him. Wall it out. Pre release sneak preview. Heard first and in the meantime, just like many other Jazai Lee songs. Yeah, man, me I tell you that. Alright, I have a serious question I know what I'm going to ask now. Are you a Jamaican or a Caribbean national or just about anyone globally? Just sit on them yard under 30. You understand? With a big degree, just sit down like them over here. And I made so hard your things say it is because Canada go live. A joke you make, man. Call Renaissance Immigration right now. See number here. Don't ramp with me. 437 703 1147 to 8. Them open Mondays to Saturdays, yeah, man, for in person bookings. Zoom bookings available six days a week. I'm here to tell you, Monday to Friday from 10 a.m. to 9.30 p.m. Them have a thing with name, bet you never know, say. You know, if you marry the big fat girl, you know, like, to become a resident of Canada. And I bet you never know, say. The rest of the information can't hold in our commercial, yeah. So you have got to call them to everything related to immigration and Canada. In the meantime. Mm-hmm. And in the music, I do nothing to nobody, brethren. Everything that happened and happened over the years. We don't know this Winford man. When since I dance all, I do nothing. In the 1980, I dance all artists that do it. Mm. I, I the political indifference and the tribal and the turf war where them teach the people them. And the gun and the drugs in the country. And the illiteracy and the unemployment and the poverty is a combination of things. The selfish people them were rich and not give nothing boy and not help nobody. Bagwan, good day. I go by the name of Babesham. And I got a few things I want to address. Becoming an artist was solely to provide entertainment to the world through my music. Never would I once imagine that I would take on the responsibilities of a country's governing body or parenthood for an entire nation. From where I stand, as someone from the inner city, the ghetto, and a public figure, I have observed where poverty, poor leadership, illiteracy, and lack of opportunities for the Jamaican youths are the top four contributors for the country's high crime rate, not the music. 
let us take it a bit further. Are we going to slam or blame Netflix, who is one of the world's top streaming platform for violent contents in the same breath? Or are we going to remove data from everyone's smartphones and their homes? Come on. Therefore, it begs to ask the question, is audio communication more effective than video communication? All right, yeah, man, which leads, I you know, to the question of the day, which is, what is the difference between a gun song and a gun show? Between music and movies, which one is more influential in the outcome of crime and violence? Yeah, all right. Yes, respect to Bounty Killer and Baby Sham. Yes, and everyone in the industry. Yes, we share yeah, this, a, a similar outlook to the one with Baby Sham. Yeah, some time ago, and the one with Bounty Killer quite recently. I share in, in, in the clips when we just play. You know, I used to express these same sentiments and have this same outlook before we start look deep into it. But right now, I personally feel that this approach to the problem is what keeps the problem going. We are trying to use a problem, solve a problem. What nonsense is well, this, man? man. Well, what on, man. Well, on, man. Well, on, man. Are you what getting at? What, what are you All right. Well, on, man. What are you saying? saying? Yes, it is poverty. I agree with that. But it is spiritual poverty, not the poverty where we are thinking about. Spiritual poverty. The one the one who make we hungry all on the belly full. Broke all on we have millions. And the problem they hard for solve because it's up to the individual. And the individual is programmed psychologically by their beliefs for blame everyone else. Me can't say enough it near meanness. Meanness. And this meanness lead to this desire to make others the scapegoat and don't see yourself as part of the problem. You really believe yeah, that? Yeah, man, what you mean? 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 What you tell you this. Oh, you know what I mean? It's the same thing we talk about every day, Bridging. Where a man feels safe and can pint out the problem. This is how most of we think. This is how the average person think. If we can pint out the problem and find the problem in everybody else, we not have to do nothing to solve it. And the same thing like you have a girl, Bridging, and you say something to her, which is right and objectively true. All she do in reverse is just find a problem just like it. But you just, you do this too. So she don't feel that she have to change nothing because you are hypocrite. So nobody now fix the problem because them feels it now have nothing to do with them. My personal feelings, even though I'm a Christian, man, is that dance hall is not to be blamed because videos, movies, rather, are more influential on, on, on people than audio. And, and that's my point and I'm sticking but, to it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wouldn't you agree that while musicians and artists and movie stars play different roles that they are all actors? My, my, my yeah, brother, man. hold yeah, on, man. hold on, hold on, but, but, and that, that um, yeah. uh, regardless of what you think about audio, yeah. the, the, the visual is more influential, and, and, you, and, and you can't change that, what? I don't see how you can counter that. I agree, I agree, say, both the musician and the movie star, both actors, yes, I agree with that, but I personally believe, Bridging, say, music and movies are, are psychologically consumed different by the consumer. What nonsense well, is this now? Bridget, what no, rubbish you talk, are you coming? You know. What rubbish well, are you man. What? When it oh comes to a movie, you know, Rasta, the consumer, the person who go watch the movie, kind of make up their mind before and say, this is, a, this is a show, we are going to one theatre, and it have a start, a middle, and an end. And we just know, say, somebody will come in, dress up like, and play some part, and shoot up some people, and take some coke, and go out with a bag of thing. But we know in ourselves, say, these are good people, we have family, man, and married people, and them gone home to them wife after that. But when it comes to music, when it comes to music, the lines between acting and reality blurred. Really? How so? What oh, you mean? How Bridget? so? Bridget, How listen, so? I'm going to say to you. How so? When it comes to music, you know, Rasta, remember, say, when mm -hmm. a movie mm -hmm. star, yeah, act and then me say, them gone home to either them husband or them wife or mm -hmm. whoever, and them, is, them live a different life, and people accept that to some great extent. Movie influential, you know. But let me tell you this, it you not know, have the influence of music have because what? When the movie done, we accept that. But when music, when we see a musician, we are see ourselves. When them attack some things, we, we, are, we are relate to them and I see self in at them. And when them come off of the stage, the show continue. Because we believe that they are where them sing about. We believe that them live this. And this is why the situation of, let's say, for example, the Gully Gaza did so powerful. 
because people think these this is real this is how these people feel and we are and this become a political tool for divisiveness because to the observer this is real because a real people this there's no acting because them people are we them them are express them is an extension of us and how we live every day and that them say in a them song and i saw them look and i saw them act and i saw them go on every day not just one tour in a movie theater. I still don't see a point. You have to give me something more solid and concrete as it relates to music being more influential. How can music be more influential than videos, my brother? Because, Bridget, nobody no watch a movie a thousand times. Nobody ever watch a movie on Netflix a thousand times. But when you listen to music, you listen to that thousands of time and the repetition of the narrative in the song become subconscious reality. Based on the amount of times where it repeat. Me at all right, watch I know. We're kinda of out of time right now. So this debate, this thing here, this conversation going to continue on episode 28. Weapons of mass destruction. Part three. Oh. In the meantime, 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 in the meantime.